Well, well, well. You came to the right place. What we're gonna do is start off with the Wraith Cannon. That's what I like to do. That's what I'm gonna do. If you if you don't got a Wraith Cannon, you can start off with the uh, Cryothrower. But just easier for me, since I have it. Best. Love it. We're gonna go to the same place. Three down, one left. And we're just gonna go ahead and take off with the Cryothrower and slow him down. Once we start slowing him down, uh, we can kind of take it easy. We want to stay close to it, but not too close, because then, you know, they can surround you pretty fast. And as you can see, I kind of mess up the, the route here. But you got to stay focused on where you're going. That's the main goal here. This way you won't get met, trapped up. So all we're going to do is just the same thing over and over, going in a circle. The same spots that we did that uh, in the last video. And I'll try to ring them up here. So the way we're doing it is two different ways on this mat and this um, block. We're gonna I'm gonna show you the short way for the route and then on the longer way. But as you notice, when I pass through here, I cannot shoot through cars at all. Like as you notice, I cannot shoot through cars. I also with the wraith cannon. So I cut half here. You see where the train's at? I go around here. And then I go by the trailer and I come back down. And you can shoot through those cylinder blocks, those white cylinder blocks, whatever they are. You can shoot through that, but you cannot shoot through cars. Uh, so if you want, you can go by the other side of that car and shoot through it. But this is just a shorter way to try to get them bundled up closer. So, you know, it's up to the user how they want to do it, really. So that was one way to, on how to do it, that was just half of it. The other way is this way I'm about to show you. Well, 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 for the most part, as you can see, you can, it's a great weapon. Uh, you can see my XP, how much I'm gaining, according to my stats. If I had to compare this weapon with the Wraith Cannon, it's about a 15 million difference, right? Uh, the only downside to this is the ammo. Right, and the fact that it does not knock them back. So if you get stuck with surrounded, you're gonna need a second weapon to switch to, so you can kind of like push out of there. Like I'm talking about really surrounded. I mean, you can always spin your way out or flippity flop your way out. You know what I mean? So either than that, the Reaper, if he tries to hit you. He will go right through it and try to hit you, and, and hit you no matter what, even in the little guys. Uh, the Wraith Cannon can knock them back, like it's, for instance, right here. There's a Reaper right there. Let me see if I can slow it down. So yeah, you can see it. It does not slow them down at all. Uh, the Reaper would just go right through you. It's, it's crazy. But either than that, it's a great gun early on because right now in the market it's like 68 mil for one, and that's not. I mean, I think for a T and eight is 40 something. And but the thing with the T and eight, you gotta have level explosives all the way up. Even with a uh, a chainsaw, you gotta have it all the way up for melee. For this, nothing. 
You don't need no level. So that's the beauty of it. Right now, I know a lot of the higher ups are like kind of not seeing how worthy this gun is because they have probably their levels already up. But there's not a lot of new people coming in, and they they don't realize they're not gonna they don't realize how strong of a gun this can be for those newcomers. But I understand that those newcomers are not gonna have that much money to buy this, but renting it, you know what I mean? Hey, big money. Uh, either way, man. So get your hands on one early on if you need it and something to grind with more have more fun with you know so while well, it's out for now I'm just gonna let it roll the greats think differently the, the greats see differently right the, the greats have a different worldview the greats they they approach the game in a totally different way so I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. Because if you can get this, if you can get this, you can get any success you want in life. You can have anything you want in life if you can get this. The next time you give a low effort, right? You give it 70% or 50% or 30%, I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. If, if, if your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity, you're probably thinking about the obligation. And when you think about ET, how you stay pumped up? ET is how you stay on fire. ET, how you always driven? Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, even in the midst of your haters, when people try to break you and tear you down. ET, how you stay strong? I keep thinking about the opportunity. Every single day, I'm thinking about the opportunity and I'm not looking at this thing as an obligation. I'm not looking at this thing as something that I have to do or that I'm forced to do, right? Something that somebody's making me do. Every time I wake up, I'm thinking, I'm alive, baby, this is the day. This is an opportunity. If you want what you've never had before, if you want to do what you've never done before, if you want to be what you've never been before, change your mentality. And I want you to see that effort goes up when you look, when you look at it as, I got an opportunity of a lifetime. But you should be excited about the fact that you have an opportunity.